All right. So um, could you say and spell your first and last name for me? My first name is Jerry. My last name is Jones. J-E-R-R-I. -E my last name, J-O-N-E-S. Okay. And you have your own, or you're going to start up your own? Yes, I'm right now. I have just purchased my um, first food truck. Mm -hmm. And my um, name is Jerry's Catering and Cuisines. Okay. So why are, why are you here today? Because I'm a single parent, and I know what it's like not to have. And I'm not at work, actually, but I still feel like that there's people that need more than me and my kids, you know, and I just want to give back. Before the situation even happened, I was already, um, you know, giving. But now it's just, you know, it's scary. So, and so many people losing jobs and, you know, different situations. So I just want to help out as much as I can. Mm -hmm. So, you know, after this is kind of a long-term thing. So after all of this is over, you know, I think the community is just now seeing all of the problems or the difficulties that people normally have on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, and they're just now seeing this mm -hmm. in a, you know, we're kind of unpeeling all of this stuff. So after this thing is over, as we go through this, what's your hope that the community learns through all of this stuff? Well, I hope that we learn to not just focus on ourselves, but to learn to focus on our community and to build each other back up. You know, we have a lot of problems that occurred before the situation even happened. And I hope this actually teaches us to actually come together as one, as a team, as a community, because it's going to take that village to raise our community, you know what I'm saying, to raise our community where we want it back to be. So what did you what did you do here today? I mean, I know what you did, but what did you do here today? Um, this morning I came in and I disinfected everything before um, the volunteers came, and then this morning we did um, baked chicken, spaghetti, um, lasagna, meatloaf, um, steam um, carrots, um, broccoli. Okay, uh, you know. Uh, How many meals do you guys think you did today? Or are you going to do today, rather? Well, Mr. Charles was saying that we were going to do uh, 500, but then he told me that we may do 12, you know, 12 today. We don't, we never know. 1,200? Mm-hmm. 1,200, yes. Oh, okay. Um, it all takes a lot of commitment. So, you know, your heart told you to come here, your, your spirit told you to come here today um, and do a little something. So, why? Uh, you said you have, how old are you? You have a child? Yes. How old? My son is 12. 12. And my okay. daughter is 4. Okay. So you got two kids. You got other things that you could be doing. And I have a client that lives in my home, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you've got all that. You got enough. So why? When I got here this morning, I was in tears because people need help. And it's not so much of people I've heard a lot of, oh, you want to get your name out there? No. I, I know what it's like not to have. I know what it's like not to have. You know, I mean, my kids was homeless at one time. And I always, the reason why we, I do this, and I show them so they'll know. And don't forget where you came from. Don't ever, you know what I'm saying? I, I just want the community to see me for who I really am. I, I, yes, I, I have my mistakes, but I want to get back. And I, I, I just have to do it. And the tears come from joy because I can't help. And tears become, is coming from a little fear, you know, you're just a little worryation. I have a lot of responsibility and a lot of people to, you know, worry about. And it's still on a day-to-day -day basis. We, uh, my community, it's still more kids that come daily. Every time we take food, it's enough, more kids added on. So our job is never done. Sorry, just got to take breath. <clears throat> um. Thank you. Thank you very much.